For practice it, self-check 3.14 parameter mystery return. We are given the following program, and we need to write the output of each statement. We are given six statements right here, and we need to find the output for each. First, we are passing x, y, and z, or x, z, and y, into our method right here. And that is going to be our statement for the first one. We get that... Um, our mystery, our x is going to be 1, our z is going to be 3, and our y is going to be 2. So these are all of the variables that we are passing in for z right here into our method. We can look inside of our method. And our z is the first value, it's going to become a 0 because it's minus minus. And this next value, we have x is equal to y times 2, so that's 4 plus z which is 0, so it's going to give us 4. And the next one is y is equal to x minus 1. Our x is 4, minus 1 is 3. And for our first statement right here, we have a print line right here. And we are going to print out y, which is 3, a space, and then z, which is 0. So this is the first line, or the first statement. And then we are going to return x. Well, our x is 4. so z now equals 4. So on the second part, we're going to print out for our statement, we're going to print out x, y, and then z. Our x is 1, our y is 2, and we've just changed our z to be 4. So this is that output. Next, we are passing in our z, z, x for our statement 3. Our z is now 4, so we're going to pass in 4, 4 and then 1. Inside of our method, we are going to make this a 3. Our y is our x is 2 times y, which is 2 plus z, which is 3, so we're going to have 5. And this is going to become a 4. So we print out y and z, which is 4 and 3. And then for our third statement, we are going to return x, which is 5. So now x is equal to 5. And then we're going to print out x, y, and z. So we have 5, 2, and 4. For our next part, we are passing in y, y, and z. Our y is 2, so we'll have 2, 2, and then our z, which is 4. This is going to become a 1. This is going to be 2 times 4, which is 8, plus 1, so this is 9. And then our y is just x minus 1. Our x is 5, and minus 1 is 4. So we're going to print out our y and z. This is going to be 4, 1. This is for statement 4. Actually, this is for um, statement 5. I mixed up the numbering. So... We go back here we have um, this is statement 3 and then this should be statement 4 and this is statement 5 now we're in statement 6 where we're returning X which is 9 so our Y is now equal to 9 so that means in our sixth statement we are going to print out 9 or we're going to print out 5 because that's our x value. And then we are going to print out our y value, which is now 9. And then our z value, which is 4. So we have 5, 9, 4. Um, this output seems to be a little bit incorrect, so we can rewrite this. And this is for statement 4, where we have x, y, and z. So our x is 5, our y we haven't changed yet, so it's going to still be 2, and then our z we recently changed to 4. So this is all of the output for this exercise, or for the self-check. I also made a second mistake in this part right here. The values that we pass in are correct, however for the y, we have x minus 1, 
and I just put 4 here when it should be this 9 minus 1, which instead of giving us a 4, will give us an 8. So this turns into an 8, and then our output is going to be 8, 1 for this part. And then um, this is step 5, and everything else sh um, will remain the same. This is going to be 5, I deleted that on accident, but everything else will remain the same, and these are the right answers. And if we go into practice it and put in our output like this, we can submit and see that we have passed all of the tests.